What's up everyone, Dabblade here with a Hunter's Guide to Monster Hunter World Iceborne. In this episode we're going to go over the new functions of all the Palico gadgets in the game. Now with Monster Hunter World Iceborne you can level up your Palico and alongside them you can level up the proficiency of the various gadgets they use. Now if you haven't unlocked all the Palico gadgets yet I advise you to go back and check out the video dedicated to unlocking all the Palico gadgets located elsewhere on the channel before watching this video as I'm going to assume you're familiar with the gadgets already. So anyway, let's get into it and talk about the new functions that each gadget comes with. First of all, the Vigawas Spray. The Vigawas Spray basically allows your Palico to heal you in various ways, but once you get past proficiency 11, your Palico will gain access to the Vigawasp Revival. Now, unlike other Palico commands, this cannot be used on demand, unfortunately. Once during a hunt, should you faint, your Palico will perform the Vigor Wasp Revival move, coating your hunter in the Vigor Wasp Spray, reviving them with a small portion of health. It's basically a get out of free gel card, allowing you to continue a hunt even if you fainted. However, be careful though, because if a monster is fast and aggressive, and you're a little bit unlucky, as the recovery animation is playing out where your hunter gets up, gives your palico a thumbs up, you could potentially get hit again after the animation plays out and you'll pretty much faint again as you'll only have a small amount of health. But nonetheless, this is a great little tool, especially if you only have a few faints on a hunt. And I would advise either switching to the Vigor Wasp Spray because of this move if you only have one faint left on a hunt, or alternatively, as soon as the Vigor Wasp Revival has been used, maybe switch off the Palico Gadget for something else. But anyway, let's move on to the next Palico Gadget, which is the Flash Fly Cage. This is a gadget that turns your Palico into a trapper, allowing them to place down either Flash Fly Cages or put down makeshift shock traps to ensnare monsters. But should you get the proficiency to level 11 and upwards, they'll learn the boom bug cage. Now this is similar in ways to a trap. Basically, the boom bug cage is placed on the ground like you would a trap, and then when a large monster walks into it, it will explode, dealing damage to the monster, staggering them, and in some cases, knocking them out. So this gives your Palico a third way of crowd controlling a monster, but on top of that, it also allows them to deal damage with this gadget this time. This is great, especially when you consider that before this, the flash fly cage was a little bit useless on most Elder Dragons. The whole downside though of the boom bug cage is it doesn't really work on monsters that are in the air. They have to actively step on it to activate it. But when they do, it's a delight to watch them fall over. Anyway, the next Palico gadget is the Shield Spire. The Shield Spire turns your Palico into a semi-tank, able to taunt monsters as well as stun them at the same time. But when you get your proficiency with this gadget to 11 or higher, you'll learn the Shield Spire Stooge. This enables your Palico to put down basically an inflatable tube man, one of those inflatable waving arm things that dances around in the air. This will taunt and lure monsters to that location where the inflatable lure is, and they'll attack it for a little while, drawing attention away from you and your team. So it's a nice way to taunt a monster to a specific location, draw the monster's attention away from you so you can heal or continue to attack it while its attention is elsewhere. And at the same time, it means that your Palico is relatively safe as well, and won't have to take the brunt of a monster's attack. Anyway, let's move on to the next gadget, which is the Coral Orchestra. This is basically a mini hunting horn from your Palico, able to play various songs to buff your hunting team. However, once you get the proficiency to level 11 or higher, they will learn the Coral Sonic Boom. This will allow your Palico to bring out a massive gong to which they smash, and monsters within the vicinity will be completely staggered when this occurs. This is a great way to interrupt monsters, performing stronger attacks, or to give you a little bit of a breather when it comes to retreating or healing. Personally, I think this is a great little addition to the Coral Orchestra as it gives them an option that isn't just buffing your hunting party. Anyway, let's move on to the next Palico gadget, which is the Plunder Blade. The Plunder Blade is all about looting, enabling your Palico to rip off monster materials as they attack a monster with the gadget. But once you get your proficiency with the gadget to level 11 or higher, your Palico will learn Mount and Plunder. This will allow your Palico to basically mount a monster, similar to how a hunter does, attacking them while they're up there and chipping off various monster materials, similar to how the bandit mantle works in a way. The monster materials that are dropped from your Palico while you perform the mountain plunder are that gold shiny materials. As you pick them up, you'll find that they are various shining scales in that, which can be sold for Zenny. So it's definitely a gadget to use if your finances are low. Which brings us on to the final Palico gadget, which is the Meowlatov Cocktail. This is a DPS-focused Palico gadget, enabling them to deal 
blast damage to a monster and assault them with various explosives. And once you get your Palico proficiency with this gadget to level 11 or higher, you'll learn the Meow Kano. This will allow your Palico to pull out basically a Roman candle kind of firework which will spray explosives everywhere in a 360 degree around your Palico, damaging any monster that is within its radius. After a short time of constant damage, it will eventually explode. This is a great DPS option for your Palico, especially if you're able to crowd control a monster first by putting them into a trap or inflicting them with an ailment or knocking them out. So there we have it, those are all the new functions for the various Palico gadgets in Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now a few disclaimers we have to get out of the way first. First of all, yes there is the Tell Raider signal which is technically a gadget but we've talked about that in the episode How to Boa Boa. This basically enables you to summon a random Grimalkin and a small monster to your aid whilst on a hunt. And I should also mention that apart from the Vigor Wasp revival, all the new functions, the new abilities these gadgets have can be used on demand once they reach level 15 proficiency with them. This means that you can add them to your item bar, radio menu, whatever. Between levels 11 and 14, your Palico can still use these new moves, but it will be random to when they actually activate. But nonetheless, unlocking all the Palico gadgets and upgrading them to the maximum level is definitely well worth it, especially if you are a solo or duo hunter. But what is your favorite gadget? Personally, mine is either the Meowlatov cocktail or the Flashfly cage but I'd love to hear what the community thinks. So leave a comment down below, and until next time, I've been Darblay, bringing you a hunter's guide to the new moves for the Palico gadgets in Monster Underworld Iceborne. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like for more.